What initially attracted you to the role of Dr. Brian King? Well, it's interesting. I had no knowledge of of the story uh, and so therefore of the role. And so when I initially got the audition, it was really the scene that I got that attracted me to the role because it was, um, and I had not like read the script or had not read the book. I read two scenes from um, from this, from the script. And it was just so kind of layered and juicy. And I could tell that there was just a lot more going on that I wasn't aware of. And so just the circumstances from what I could tell from the audition made it a very kind of attractive, um, role. And then obviously I, I booked the role and then went down the rabbit hole of, of really kind of getting myself educated about, about what happened at Memorial. When you play in a role that has not just the emotional levels this is, but you're playing these real life characters from this real life event, how do you separate Cornelius from Bryant? Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big advocate of, of, of meditation. And so um, I think just kind of having a healthy practice of some sort where you, you know, I spend some time and just ground myself in gratitude and just kind of do some visualization and, you know, I work really hard to stay grounded in gratitude so that uh, I think if that's the foundation, it makes it easier to kind of navigate things throughout life and kind of keep things separate. Um, and so for me, it's, it's just, you know, putting in the work, but, but realizing luckily I'm an actor, you know, and so that it is, it is separate. I can still give myself completely and wholly to this experience, but also know at the end of the day that I'm, I'm portraying a character who was not me and, and it's a totally separate experience. I am sure that patients do not suffer pain. Some people were afraid of people outside of the hospital, but for me, it was the other way around. Uh, when you kind of dig deep into the story and you work on this project within these characters, what's something you learned about yourself throughout playing this role? Hmm. Um, I think, I think it's, it's interesting, uh, what I learned about myself. I think what I'm personally working on is, is, is trusting my gut more. That initial kind of gut feeling, that initial feeling that, or I don't know if it's a thought or if it's a pulse or, or something that tells you either yes or no about a particular decision, event, whatever. It's just like that first, mm, yeah, or no. And so, um, you know, throughout this series and as I was kind of taping, it, 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 it made me kind of really negotiate and kind of highlight that work for me because, you know, all throughout the series, there, there, there are gut feelings of, of, I don't know. And, you know, how do you, how do you how do you balance that? If you choose to listen to that, how do you follow through? If you choose to ignore, what are the consequences and vice versa? And what's the and what's the breaking line? 